today in the morning, there was a major incident on Long River, namely road, and that was uh, a deliberate ambush on a bus, a submitted bus service. It was ambushed, and as a result, based on the information we received from our security forces on the ground, is that one person was killed, a total of eight people were injured, including seven civilians, and one personnel from National Security Service, that's the Internal Security Bureau. Uh, we have conflicting reports on the number of people that have gone missing. Uh, from our source, that's a confirmed military source, is that uh, seven passengers are missing. Uh, we have a secondary source which is indicating that up to 14 are missing. And as all of you have seen on social media, the bus was set ablaze. After we rushed on onto the scene, we were able to follow the attackers. They were being pursued and they were heading towards uh, Lobano, Payam, of Juba County, and they're heading towards an island where we strongly believe that they, uh, they have a base there. So this is exactly what had happened in the morning. NAS was entirely responsible for that attack on the bus. And what boggles our mind is that if NAS has an agenda of uh, targeting government installation in installations, why are they, why, 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 why NAS fighters? Why they are attacking a, a soft target, which is a, which is a bus transporting different uh, different people from different uh, nationalities. Like the dead is from Uganda. Most of those who are injured, some of them are Sudanese. So based on that uh, attack, it appears that uh, NASA has become a regional uh, regional threat because those who, who who died and got injured are not only South Sudanese. So it challenges NAS statement from time to time that they are fighting to liberate the people of South Sudan. But are they liberating them or they are wiping them out? In my opinion, NAS has become enemy number one to the people of South Sudan and to the region. The act that was committed this morning is an unforgivable act and the perpetrators will be brought to book and they will pay for it. That would be the, 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 the company to know how many were on board. I, I saw a list circulating on social media, allegedly giving the names of those who boarded the bus. The only unfortunate thing that we are not expecting was that may be for us to target civilians. We are expecting a general group to attack government installations, government positions, government targets not civilians going about their business. It is true we have security forces along the road, but they are not from point A to point B. They are deployed at uh, designated locations. The first question, what is the origin of the company that was transporting people from Juba? The origin of the, uh, the, the company? Oh, it looks like they were traveling from Juba to... Whether the bus belongs to South Sudan or any other nationality? It has a uh, South Sudan registration number. Yeah, then again, on uh, the, the issue, are you going to do some reinforcement because now... And, and which area was the bus attacked? It is a uh, Jabalene area. There's a place called Larka Larka and, uh, and, and uh, Kubi but it is Jabalene area. Okay. On the issue of reinforcement, of course, uh, we have enough security personnel on the road. It is only that they were attacked at a vulnerable point between two checkpoints where we did not have presence. But of course, if, uh, if NAS is, uh, has, it has become the business to attack civilians, and then we need to increase our presence and do robust foot patrols as well as get into the bushes and smoke them out. Currently, as we speak, is the traffic open on the Nimble Road? Or uh, I am here to confirm. But when the incident happened, there was a halt on the on the traffic. But we have been combing the areas, and that's why we are able to pursue them towards uh, Lebanon. And it is, that's how we ended up confirming that it was not that was responsible. Because at first we thought maybe they were armed tribal men. We allege that the perpetrators of such incident was done by Nazis. Mm. What concrete evidence do you have to back up your study? Just before the attack, we received information about their movements around that area and their presence. 
we were even preparing to strike them. But this is not the first time for, uh, for us to attack civilians along the same road. And this is not the first time for us to attack civilians. Then we are doing it in uh, different parts of Central Equatorial State, mostly in the Greater Yay area. They have been doing it. Even the nurses that were killed along Jupa Nimble Road, they were killed by nurse fighters. This is, not, uh, this is not new. You remember when, when the fog was coming, they wanted to be on in the, in the headlines and they committed some atrocities. They were even doing illegal gold mining here around Pai Hills, where they came with their machines, they do gold mining, it's my building it up, and then they fund their activities. And that's why NAS is refusing to sign to be part of the main agreement because it is a, it is a doing business and they are funding their activities as well, their desire is like, like is like. Yes, uh, General, since you know all these uh, NASA forces are conducting their activities in all these locations, and you know it very well, what have you done so that to protect such a situation not to happen like the one that happened today? Where we receive the actionable intelligence, we normally preempt by attacking the right out. Like I told you, we never accept, uh, uh, expected NASA to go and attack uh, uh, a mobile target, which is for civilians, so it was never in our uh, plan. We, ne we did not know. We had built up our security in our areas, and we're preparing to strike them. But unfortunately, they turned their uh, arsenal against the local population. As we have been following some years back, when they are noticed some uh, another season like specific season, these issues or these kind of incidents starts coming up. So what can you tell the citizens and not to like a worry that yes, it is going to continue? Well, we will um, increase our presence in areas where NAS is known to be active. And uh, dry season is actually in our favor. It is only the rainy season that favors uh, rebel groups. Dry season is good. We just we just came, we became a national army the other day. Most of us are uh, former rebels who have been operating in this area, including me. Around 92, I was here in Kurki. So I know the areas, and I'm still strong enough. Even if I'm given a command of the force, I will be able to move on foot and get all of them. They will pay a very high price, don't worry. Attacking civilians. And from now on, when you should take it as your responsibility to spread out these atrocities that have been committed against civilians by us. For us, therefore, leader, Dr. Shirilo, to be personally held accountable, including the, the bus that he had set on fire. It's a property that someone who is trying to take care of his family. So that life, life no good. That source of life no good is gone. It went up in flames. So he should be held accountable. General, where are those who are nursing well now? Those who are injured? I think they took me off, off in different direction. Like in, I got information that the one that was killed, the remains were taken to, to Nima. Okay. Yeah. So we'll do a follow-up and I will keep updating you. Okay, thank you. Through all the platforms you know. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.